This is the first time I'm playing nine holes or playing on a proper course in three years. We're out here at the Milneton uh, Golf Club today. Phenomenal course with um, views of Table Mountain and the Atlantic Ocean uh, running next to it. Um, I'm on the first tee here. It's a relatively short par four, just over 350 odd meters. Um, so I'm gonna hit a three iron, uh, see if I can still hit a three iron, keep it low and um, try and get it on the fairway and give myself maybe a, a nine iron or pitching wedge into the green. Let's see what happens. three iron off the tee, uh, hit it quite low, it wasn't the best shot, but after three years of not playing on a course, I'll take one in one, 100% fairways and regulation after one hole. Um, so I've hit it up here to about the one, um, I've got 160 meters into the green. Uh, it's got about 175 yards, uh, don't quote me on that. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is, I, I would usually hit a five iron into the green, uh, but my five iron got stolen uh, in, a, in a move to Cape Town, um, so I'm without that. So what I'm going to do now is actually grip down on a four iron um, and just really hit it easy, uh, run it up there, and see if I can um, see if I can get to the green in regulation um, with that beautiful view of Table Mountain in the background. So I hooked the, uh, the second shot there and um, decided to actually go with a three iron instead of a four iron. Um, not feeling as confident. I've slowed my swing down drastically um, and I'm actually not swinging full at the moment. Um, so quite short on distance, but I've ended up in line with the green um, to the left. So let me see if I can get up and down from here. Um, I haven't played, on, played this course before. Um, I didn't have time to get onto the putting green. So yeah, let's see what greets me. I do not recommend playing golf this way. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. I'll take that, nice little putt for putt. tell you how soft these greens are it's like walking on a cloud they are absolutely phenomenal to the greenkeeper here at Milton Golf Club fantastic job just keep doing what you're doing um, on another note so I did get it up um, quite nicely sat down quickly so I've got a short putt for par um, those of you who watched my first video would have seen this putter um, which I called the Spilson because it's a Spalding putter but it has a Wilson name on it um, so this is considered now a vintage putter uh, it's very old and I still use it so let's see if I can make a par in the first hole after not playing golf for three years <laughs> Rob did you see that absolutely Rob well, my luck hasn't changed on the golf course after three years And now on the second, which is a short par four, 287 meters to the middle of the green. Um, I've got a two iron here, hope you can see that. Um, don't really use it that much. It's also super old. Um, probably had it for about 20, 20 years roughly. Um, so I'm gonna hit this two iron, keep it quite low um, and give myself a shot at um, potentially a birdie. Let's see, Let's see what I can do. Pushed my tee shot right slightly. Um, the two iron that hasn't been used in a while, 
and I've left with 110 meters, meaning that I actually hit the two iron uh, 176 meters, which is not great. Um, as I said, I'm swinging slower and I'm not at, not at my best right now, as you know. Um, so I'm gonna hit a nine iron. Uh, in, in, in sort of in normal times, I would hit a, a wedge and um, get it up there and spin it a bit, but I'm gonna hit an easy nine iron into this green, um, put it up there and see if I can make a par or birdie. Let's see what happens. probably hear the waves of the Atlantic crashing in the background and I've got Robin Island as well just uh, just behind me so um, I've hit a horrible 9-9 I've, uh, I've pretty much hit a duck hook and I'm left with about 50 meters onto the green I'm gonna hit an easy 60 degree put it up there close and see if I can make par this is not going according to plan but it does teach you how to scramble and the importance of scrambling because you can't always hit the fairway and you can't always hit greens and regulation that way golf becomes boring. So let's see what I can do here. So, uh, ended up just past the hole here. Can't tell you exactly how far I am, but um, I'd say probably two, three meters. Um, and I'm now putting for par. Look, this green's phenomenal. I, I cannot fault them. Um, it's, look, this one here is, um, is moving from right to left. Um, it's quite quick. Let's see, I'm gonna have to kind of let it go off of the, uh, the toe of the club just to hit it a bit slower. Um, but yeah, so far it's okay. Um, if I can drain this, I'm one over, but I'll, I'll be happy with the bogey at this point. Um, I was expecting a, a lot worse after not swinging the club for three years. But let's see what happens here. Par putt, uh, right to left. Um, and I'm actually just looking now, it, it shapes from the left to the right at the end. So this is gonna be a, an interesting putt. Very interesting. Um, yeah, let's, let's see. Never tell me that old clubs don't work. Look at that. Look at that. Par Pat is drained it. I'm super stoked with that. Look at how amazing Cape Town is today. It's really showing off. And uh, yeah, there's a few worse places, uh, well, there's worse places to be rather on a Monday morning um, than on the golf course at Moulton, Atlantic next to you, sun out, and uh, those wonderful skyline views of the small but effective Cape Town City. Um, so I made a par, very happy with myself. Um, and after the vintage Spalding putter worked for me, I thought on this 390 meter par four, um, I'm actually gonna, gonna hit a seven wood off the tee um, and let the wind carry it a bit because the wind's with me. Um, I'm probably leaving myself a bit too much into the green for my second shot, um, but I don't wanna go right because there's a whole bunch of bushes there and my ball will be lost. Um, and I'm playing okay now, so I wanna play safe golf and see if, uh, yeah, kind of give myself confidence and build it up. Yet to take the driver out. Uh, let's see how the seven wood does just take a look at that club um, it is a no-name brand but i've had it for 26 years um, and it really hits easy so let's see what we can do so i've ended up to the left here i hit it straight here um, and now i've got 213 meters left of the green, bit of work to do, got the two iron out, 
um, yeah, at the moment so I'm not hitting well, I'm not hitting in Chile so let's see how close I can get up and try to get up and down for a par. So I didn't really want to talk after that shot, uh, my fluff, it happens to the best of us, but uh, it's always weird when you think you're going to do something in golf, you always end up doing it, that's why this game is such a mental game, really, um, excuse my French, no. but anyway, we're here now, and uh, green in a row, it's absolutely phenomenal, it's super soft, um, really loving it, and um, let's see what we've got here, we're dealing with a a little bit of a right to left though, but um, pretty much straight. Um, and I think I've got to give it a little bit more speed than I did the last time. So, come on, vintage pattern, let's see what you've got this time. Come on, man.